Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, the killer. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay. I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, I'm, I'm gonna let them finish but anyways welcome back to the channel guys and yeah as you can see we're just gonna continue pretty much right where we left off episode three so yeah um i it looks like rose is uh lost to us it's a damn shame let's keep going i found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspapers archives this place is crazy disappearances mysterious deaths urban legends come true and get this most of this stuff takes place around cauldron lake well you ain't wrong mister the indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld i'm the god-fearing type myself I, I don't hold with that sort of thing yeah okay anyway there was an island there owned by a guy called thomas zane now some of the articles i found about him make him out to be a famous writer but i ran a bunch of searches couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. The hell? Wait, I want. Is that the. Could that be the guy in those pictures? Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Remember the pictures that we saw of, the, of that old diver, uh, diving suit? Is that a boat? The hell's with the boat? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Yeah, no kidding, dude. Ooh, nice, a little hot dog cart. Or stand. Truck. Trailer, whatever. Why back over here? Is that not a front door right there? Why would you gotta come all the way back here? It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. The hell? Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What? The lamp lady? She can be a what? little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. What the hell? So she's tied to the island somehow? I Man, I don't know. This is getting interesting. There's a lot of uh, lore, so to speak. Oh, we had to go around that one because of the boats. Okay, fair enough. Why is it going to the dumpster?
What was that about? Come on, man. Do you guys got anything else to say, or like what's going on? I guess the whole oh, point is on. No, this okay, here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Okay. Thanks, shirt. Go talk to Rose. Hey, look, a thermos. Anything weird? I will see nothing. All right. Welcome to... to... Oh, dear. Mr. Wake. The hell was that? I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh, yes. Yes. Please, come in. What the hell? Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Barry! Oh, hell, she drugged us. What? Oh no. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. What the fuck? Back to work, boy. What the fuck was that? Cautious, hung over. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. What? She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. What the fuck? So even she, like, we're even writing her, really? Believe in change? Okay, anyways. So, we're literally writing her into the story. I can't read those books. I wonder if those are like, uh... Oh, man. That's kind of embarrassing. I wonder if, uh... Oh, hell, what was I going to say? Oh, if those books are like some kind of a nod to something. Like Rose an Easter egg. day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Oh, Coffee? poor girl. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Poor thing. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> yep. You're right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have to leave him there. Alright. Leave the trailer. Hey, look, My page. gun and flashlight were gone. 
I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Randolph calls Mr. the police. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff's station. Oh, great. I mean, it's not a bad call, I don't, and I don't blame him, but that's not good. Alright, so we gotta get to the car. Hey, look, a radio. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once, once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, Pat, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well, I ain't the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. This must be the guy that was in the cell. to the car. Hey, look at Thermos. Let's grab this thing real quick. Okay. Oh, that's the guy. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, you're gonna get it now. Oh, great. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Hemingway. Why would he shoot? What's wrong with y'all? Why the hell would you shoot? Exactly. What kind of lunatic would shoot like that? Alright boys, I mean, that's where I'm going to go and end it for tonight. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.